Okay, so now I'm going to just park in uh, one of these fingers, tricky little parking spaces these. Now with the wind, if it's behind me, which it sort of is now, it's, it's kind of gusting from six o'clock around to four o'clock. Um, I, I, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do a turn in fours. Let me show you, if I just try to turn in here in fours with the wind behind me, I'll show you what happens. I'm just going to end up smacking into this, uh, this, this pier and this pole over here. So if the wind is behind you, that's not really an appropriate turn to do. Okay, a far more appropriate turn to do is when you're coming down, you want to turn into this finger. We've got the wind behind us. Real simple and straightforward. Turn into the wind. You've heard me say that a few times before. Reverse. Give her a little bit of a squeeze on the throttle. Pull the stern around to starboard. That's it. Now we're getting the wind on our port side and we're well away from that hazard down on our starboard side that the wind is trying to push us into. And we're going to stay what I call on my safe side. The rules of the road staying on the starboard side are a guideline, but safety overrides them. So in this case, I don't deem it particularly safe to be uh, over here. In the main fairway, we do definitely stay on the correct side. But when you're in a sub fairway like this line and you're both up for parking, uh, you just come in wherever is safe. Now, I've got the wind on my uh, port side. I can choose to come in here or forwards or reverse. I've already done lots of forwards for you in previous videos. So I'll show you reversing in here. Exactly the same principles. I want to reverse into our berth that you can just see coming into view now. The same rules apply with regards to open and close pontoons. I need to get momentum towards the dock if I ever want to get in there. So I've got to put my glasses down, got a bit of sun strike. Now we just get some momentum, gentle momentum, and begin our turn and get her in there. Now, if you haven't got the rate of turn, like I probably don't at the moment, that's no big deal. We can do a little bit of a straighten up neutral, steer to port, into forwards, and I'm gonna get out of here because that wind has caught me. So if you get it wrong, that's a perfect example. If you get something wrong, I got caught by a little gust of wind there, no big deal, just abort out, have another go. That's quite normal, that's usual. Everybody makes mistakes. That's why pencils have erasers. Just come back, just a tiny bit more pace this time to get that bow through the wind. Because last time I don't feel I had enough momentum to get that bow into the wind. There we go, now we're getting the bow into the wind, but I'm coming back very fast. So I'm gonna go into neutral and a little bit of forward just to slow her down. There we go. And now we can just pull her back in. That was forwards. Nice, we've got the wind on the bow, so that's actually quite a tricky little manoeuvre that. Get her in. And a little contact there alongside. So the key when you're bringing her in and you've got the wind on the nose, that is one of the trickiest ones because the bow is very flighty and the wind will catch it if you over um, steer it. Um, so yeah, you've got to be very in tune with it and time it just right. Very difficult, takes lots of practice. Lots of fenders is the order of the day for that one. All right, so now I'm gonna come into the same dock I came in in a previous video. Except last time I reversed it, which is quite a challenging maneuver. Same berth, I'm just gonna do it a slightly different way. This time it's gonna be a lot easier. So we always go in and forwards if the wind is trying to push you into the dock as it is now. Generally going in and forwards is the easiest way. Now I'm not doing anything, I look at the boat. The wind is clearly blowing my bow around to starboard. So just let it continue to blow it. Now in fact, to help that bow go to starboard, don't go forward to starboard. You'll just start burning up sea room in front and the wind is trying to push you that way anyway. So oppose the wind, reverse into the wind, that's it. And keep us close to these boats behind us because they're actually very, very safe. The wind is trying to push us away from them. We've now got the wind at about seven o'clock. It's coming to six o'clock. Line us up at our little berth here that we're trying to get into. Get the pivot point into the middle and you can do a bit of jiggery pokery here if you like. You've got all the time in the world with that wind behind you. It's nice and safe. So when the wind is on the front on the bow, that's when things are quite challenging. And you can see just get her in position. What I'm looking for is the pivot point, which is about here on this boat. I'm trying to get that pivot point in between the two poles. And lots of clicks and ticks into gear to keep that speed down. Unlike the previous approach where I came in with the wind on the bow, where you need to come back fairly hard and fast. And I tried to avoid that like the plague if, if I was you. But yeah, that's really the safest and easiest way to come in here uh, when the wind is trying to push, push you into the berth. Come in and forwards, not reverse. 
So now we're coming into this little sub fairway. I've got to park and again, the wind is our be all and end all here. This is every decision I make is based on which way the wind is pushing us. There's no tide in this marina at the moment. Um, I'm going to come into this uh, vacant berth coming up on our port side. This is the easiest park in the world to do and I'm going to show you why. The wind is trying to push us out of there and that allows us to make lots of mistakes. If the wind is pushing you into a berth, that's a bit more challenging and you've got to be a bit more on your A game. But here, we're just going to rotate the boat around. I'm going to intentionally get this wrong. So if I come in and I oversteer like this, ah, not great, but it doesn't really matter simply because I just have the wind now safely pushing me cleanly back out of that space if I make any mistakes. And then all you got to do, reline up wherever I point the engine. In fact, if you imagine on the engine, I've got an arrow pointing. In that direction, wherever I point that arrow, that's where the back of the boat is going to go. So there we go, point it that way, in reverse, that's where the back of the boat is going to go. It's going to go over that way. And you can see, this is super easy. You could almost do this with my eyes closed. Don't advise it that. <laughs> there we go. And any mistakes I make, as I say, the wind is just going to push us back out of the berth so it's nice and safe. And the first line I'd get on here would be, guess which one? Yep, the stern line. Stern line on first. And then that's the line that's going to do all the work. Nice, I'll just take us out of here. Now, a departure from a berth like this can be quite challenging because the wind is trying to push us out of this berth. Now, a lot of people make a big mistake. This is really important. As we come out, a lot of people will just go forward to starboard. Now, let me show you what happens if I, if I go forward to starboard here. With the wind behind me, all that's going to happen is it going to end up, oh my good God, I'm going to end up in a big old collision situation there. Lots of panic and people do erratic things when they start getting close to expensive looking boats. So let me show you how to do a correct departure from a finger berth like this. Now obviously all the maneuvers I'm doing are relevant to a vessel which has steerage in a stern. So those of you with a fixed shaft and a rudder boat, single, who are gonna pop into the comments section and start telling me I won't work in that boat. I fully understand that. It's horses for courses, you need to understand. Different boats, different approaches. I can only do one boat per video. I can only drive one boat at a time. Okay, so here's a safe departure out of this berth. The wind is now trying to push me over towards these boats in front of me. There we go, so we bring her out nice and straight, nice and straight, work the gearbox, and just when you feel you're getting close enough to those poles in front of you, full lock to port. Now you do need a little bit of a squeeze on the, on the power. There we go, round she comes. So I'm pulling myself again, a nice upwind turn, I pull myself nicely up into the wind. And look at that, look at that. Nice and safe right here because the wind is pushing me that direction. Wouldn't necessarily do that approach in, wind, uh, di in a different wind direction, but for when the wind is trying to push you out of your berth, that's the safest way to vacate the premises.